York. York. Agent York. York. Agent York. Hey, Agent York. Agent York? Hey! <laughs> hey, Agent York. <sighs> You're Lise Clarkson. What's wrong? You're acting weird. Sorry, Patty, I'm fine now. More importantly, do these red seeds come from some kind of plant that grows around this area? I don't know. What do I look like, a botanist? This isn't your average backwoods town. The Clarkson's ego and control has been piercing the town's heart like a massive dinosaur bone. But over this past century... Time has been busy eroding the beast's power from within. And now, the very thing that once fortified this town is polluting it with putrid gas and rotten marrow. Zack, this is the point where it all collapses. Collapsing! Es ist sogar noch Dienstag, das verstehe ich nicht. Es ist der gleiche Tag, an dem wir eigentlich ins Hotel gegangen sind und aufgehört haben. Ich muss mir mal schnell was zu trinken holen. Nach dieser super langen Cutscene und super langen Dialogen. Gleich wieder da. Ich drehe gerade voll durch. Okay, wir schauen uns jetzt nochmal den Tatort genauer an, oder wie? There's a flat, evenly weighted stone here. I bet we could use this to score an amazing stone skipping record. Let's give it a try whenever we get some downtime. For now, we need to focus on this investigation, Zack. The growth is all missing from this particular section. It wasn't just cut away. She used fire to burn it out. Everything was planned so meticulously as if she wanted to show this altar to someone. That's why Chuck ended up discovering it. There's some decomposing cloth here. We saw the same type of cloth at the sugarcane plantation. They must have used that cloth when they transported Lisa's body. And who cares about mundane evidence like that? This isn't a case that can be solved by gathering the kind of evidence we'd need to submit to a court. These red seeds keep sticking out to me. But we need to figure out what's going on with this altar before we focus on anything else. Isn't that right, Zack? These bridge beams have a very unique shape to them. One straight support in the center, reinforced by V-shaped columns coming up diagonally from the sides. Did this bridge always look like this? Oh well, I'm sure it has nothing to do with this case. Let's move on with the inspection, Zack. Naja, alles ist V-förmig, selbst die Leichen. Also, naja. Zack, this is an ominous sign. Among all the different footprints here are a set made from engineer boots. Yes, I know, I know. He probably only made them when he came to inspect the scene. I'm sure that Patty and I left our own set of prints here, too. But how do you explain the set that's inside the yellow tape? This altar is covered in burn marks, but there's hardly any residue left. 
There's no way for me to tell what was burned here. I could send it home for analysis, but is that really necessary? It'll just end up giving Abrahams more busy work. More importantly, Zack, someone who knew how to manipulate fire was behind all this. In other words, these roots prove that Lena was here. And that's enough for me. After Lise Clarkson was murdered, her body was put back together here. Just like how Galena's body was dismembered, then rearranged within the holding cell. Lena Doman and PJ's bodies were also blown to pieces in the end. Perhaps that's the nature of the curse that's taken hold of the Clarksons. What do you think, Zack? Is there any significance to these similarities? Solved the case, yeah? So go on! Get your ass out of town! Shoot! Exactly how stupid are you, FBI? This is Luke Carre, remember? Every fella in town already knows that Professor Orr's the one behind all this shit. Hey, Chuck, can you see the altar from there? I'd see the whole damn thing, along with your stupid ass standing there, trying to act all smart and shit. You told me that the poacher's boat you were chasing disappeared around this area, correct? Yeah, that's what I said, all right. What, you forget already? If you're just gonna waste our tax dollars out here, Least you can do is catch them goddamn poachers. Fucking FBI, go and make yourself useful for once in your damn life. Chuck, we don't chase down fishing boats. Unless it's a terrorist boat that plans to overthrow our government, that is. Huh, then stop acting all leery, like I ain't being truthful or whatever. I'm busy too, you know. So long, FBI. Zack, he just taught us what the true purpose of this altar is. It was built here so that the ritual could be watched from a boat in the bayou. What do you mean? They could have just walked out here. There's no reason why they had to watch it from a boat. The goddess of fertility, Patty. <laughs> the goddess of fertility. A fine name indeed. So much blood has been shed, yet you remain in this town. Surely you know why. Of course I do, Hoongan. My work here isn't finished yet. You know, I could really use one of your oracles right now. <laughs> You're more fun than I thought. Here's the oracle you ask for. Listen. With the Speak to the 17 comrades who saw the birth of New Orleans. Feel the holy Allah. The giant lady's finger points down toward your goal, the entrance to the forbidden. Poetic and graceful as ever, Hoongan. 
Hungan's oracles are leading us toward the core of this case. That's the one thing I'm sure of. But don't misunderstand, Zack. I'm not blindly following him. I only follow my intuition. Metaphysical offender profiling. That's all there is to it. The 17 comrades must refer to some area that has 17 of the same thing in it. We may need to use history to figure this one out. After all, we need to find someone or something that saw the birth of New Orleans. That's not it, Zack. Nee. The 17 comrades must have survived for a shockingly long time. Remember, they were here to see the birth of New Orleans. The 17 comrades must refer to some area that has 17 of the same thing in it. We may need to use history to figure this one out. After all, we need to find someone or something that... That's it, Zack. The French established the colony of La Nouvelle Orléans in 1718, just about 300 years ago. The only 17 comrades that would have been around back then <clears throat> are the 300-year-old oak trees along this road. A majestic road lined by oak trees. Come on, let's go ask these sages of Lucare for some help on our investigation. The Holy Allah is a shockingly simple metaphor. Especially considering the quality of the oracles we've received thus far. It seems as if Hungan's poetic muse is finally running dry. The great thing about us Americans is that we can recreate our homeland anywhere. We're happy to transport crunchy bacon across the deserts of Africa if we need to. That's what it means to be American. And this Holy Allah is just another example of that. From the early days of the frontier era, they've been helping us Americans be what we've always meant to be. That's it. I never doubted you, Zach. The Holy Allah refers to a water tower. Specifically that water tower with its Clarkson family crest. It must be hiding some sort of clue. Let's fill the Allah and see what it yields. Zach, what do you think the giant lady's finger is? I'm at a loss. I never thought one of Hoongan's childish riddles would force me to think so hard. But, oh well. I'm sure that as we deal with the rest of the oracle, it'll reveal itself to us. Wh what Is there something on my face? Listen carefully, Patricia. As my skilled assistant, I trust you a great deal. So I want you to answer me honestly. Answer what? Do you have any idea where Melvin might have gone? No. He didn't seem to be acting or talking differently than usual? No. I don't think so. Okay. I believe your words. Zack, we have a lot of work to do. It feels like we're finally approaching the climax here. Okay, cool. Two new Hauptquests, but it sieht so aus, als könnten wir einfach da weitermachen, wo wir aufgehört haben mit den Nebenquests. Und das war mir wichtig. Aber dann gehen wir jetzt erstmal ins Hotel.
Wird der Baum heller? Wird der roter? Wird der besser beleuchtet? Oder bilde ich mir das ein? Wahrscheinlich bilde ich mir das ein, oder? Bin mir nicht sicher. So, morgen haben wir viel zu tun. Jetzt pass auf, wir müssen jetzt jeden Tag einen Cocktail trinken. Wir müssen zum Sumpf, weil da gibt es auch jeden Tag eine neue Challenge für uns. Währenddessen suchen wir immer nach der grünen Paprika natürlich. Ich frage mich, ob man neue Anzüge kriegt. Wie hungrig sind wir eigentlich gerade? Geht. Wir müssen noch ein paar Killerbienen töten, aber gut. Jetzt muss ich mal kurz schauen. Kann man sich die nicht irgendwo genauer anschauen, die Quests, oder? Nicht wirklich. Hier sind nur die abgeschlossenen mit drin. Aber dass es so viele Nebenquests gibt, die wir noch nicht entdeckt haben... Finde ich so irritierend irgendwie. Ich weiß überhaupt nicht, was da los ist. Ich befürchte, da haben wir ein paar übersehen wahrscheinlich. Weil Melvin war zum Beispiel der Auftraggeber für die Bienenquest. Melvin gibt es jetzt nicht mehr. Wahrscheinlich. Der hätte vielleicht noch mehr Quests gehabt, wenn wir die Bienenquest erledigt hätten. Ich habe die Bienen halt erst zu spät entdeckt. Die Bienen. Das ist doof. Naja, man kann nicht alles machen. Ich hatte ja, also, mein Gott. Dann halt nicht. Was weiß denn ich? Da braucht man schon fast, das muss man schon fast mit einem Guide spielen, wenn man alle Nebenmissionen finden will. Oder wirklich konsequent jeden Tag zu jedem Ort gehen, mit allen Figuren immer reden, zu jeder Tageszeit mehrmals. Vormittags, mittags, nachmittags, alles abklappern. Dann findet man wahrscheinlich auch alles. Aber sonst halte ich das schon für schwer irgendwie. Sie zum Beispiel steht da immer. Hat aber Even nichts für uns. Wow, hätte nicht gedacht, dass einer wie du sich für meine Geheimtipps interessiert. Probieren geht über Studieren. Ganz der FBI-Agent, was? Und, was hat das mit diesem Geheimtipp auf sich? Das siehst du, wenn du da bist. Eins kann ich aber dir verraten. Dieser Ort ist meine geheime Empfehlung als Profifahrerin. Verstehe. Da bin ich ja mal gespannt. Gell? Dann lass uns doch direkt los. Okay. Geheimtipp 1 freigeschaltet. Ja, das zum Beispiel. Warum kommt das jetzt? Und warum kam das nicht die 50 Mal früher, als wir mit ihr geredet haben? Verstehe ich nicht. Hier. Finden Sie bei Ravens, Mal bei Ravens malerischen Geheimtipp ein Flü... Ach so. Ne, warte mal. Ravens malerischer Geheimtipp. Hä? Even I can feel it. Ja, das kennen wir schon. Ich weiß nicht, was das sein soll. Ihr malerischer Geheimtipp. Ist was auf meiner Karte jetzt eingezeichnet? Ja. 
glaube nicht. Okay, ich habe keine Ahnung, was die von mir wollen. Bei Ravens malerischem Geheimtipp soll ich irgendwas machen. Vielleicht, wenn ich... Ist vielleicht... Ich habe keine Ahnung. Also das soll so ein Symbol sein, wie bei den Fotos eben. Verstehe ich nicht. Aber gut, ich fahre jetzt mal... Obwohl, nee, gehen wir zu Fuß. Fahren wir zu Fuß. Wir wollen ja, wir wollen ja was von der Welt sehen. Wir wollen ja gerade das Graffiti zum Beispiel finden. Und ich will in dieses Sumpfland da unten, weil eventuell ist da dieses eine Foto noch. been in this town for longer than we originally planned, haven't we? No, no, I'm not complaining. I'm used to living out of a hotel, and I love southern food. There are some inconveniences, though. There's no movie theater in this town, nor is there a video rental store, and the TV in the hotel room doesn't get any of the on-demand movie channels. We'll just have to get lucky and encounter a movie being shown on TV. The movie environment in Lucarin is no different from that of the 70s, Zach. No, they don't have a movie theater. So I suppose it's even farther back than that. But it's true that these are the times in which one always encounters the best movies. It's always been that way, hasn't it? Think back with me. Remember that hotel in the rundown town near Monroeville, just outside of Pittsburgh? I took a shower, and by the time I got back into bed, it had already started. Time Walker. 1982, directed by Tom Kennedy. I started watching it without any idea as to what it was about. But it instantly got me hooked. The plot highly exceeded all my expectations. Constantly revealing shocking truth after shocking truth. It was a hyper-realism masterpiece. Even after we checked out from the hotel, we couldn't get that film out of our heads. Not even when we stopped by the Monroeville Mall, the primary filming location for Dawn of the Dead. Instead of the living dead, both you and I were totally preoccupied with thoughts of that living mummy. And we were so excited to visit the Monroeville Mall, too. You kept insisting that you were going to track down those kumquats that Roger had eaten. In fact, I'm pretty sure the only reason I took on that case was because I knew it would let us travel out there. Instead, Time Walker blindsided us. And that's all we could think about. Even when we were inside the mall, we were both off in a different world. There you have it, Zach. A beautiful memory of an encounter with an 80s masterpiece in a very unexpected place. Hier steht ein roter Baum. Das war, das heißt, Doman, das wird schon mal wichtig. AKA Professor. Wird schon mal wichtig für den Schluss des Spiels, bestimmt. Rote Bäume sind nicht zum Spaß da. Aber jetzt muss ich mal das Sumpffoto noch mal suchen. Sumpf, 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 Sumpffoto. Da. Na, das sieht ja auch nirgends so aus wie auf diesem Bild. Ich habe echt keine Ahnung, wo das sein soll. Oder? Das ist so buschig und Bäume sind ganz anders. Das ist, ich glaube, ich bin nicht falsch. Why do you think the Clarksons chose a dragonfly for their family crest? In some European countries, dragonflies are called devil's needles. And folklore suggests that they fly around, sewing up the mouths of children who don't do as they're told. In Japan, some samurai helmets are also shaped like dragonflies. There, Dragon. Ja, der Ort wird noch wichtig, aber momentan noch nicht. This town sure is peaceful, Zack. Yes, I know. I know what you're about to say. But that's why we're here. Why do you think the Clarksons chose a dragonfly for their family crest? In some European countries, dragonflies are called devil's needles, and folklore suggests that they fly around, sewing up the mouths of children who don't do as they're told. 
In Japan, some samurai helmets are also shaped like dragonflies. There, dragonflies are seen as beneficial insects who march valiantly ahead, preying on the pests that devour crops. In other words, dragonflies symbolize opposite things depending on whether you're in the east or the west. But why did the Clarkson Hey Robin, danke fürs Folgen. Hi. Ich habe keine Ahnung, wohin das Also wo dieses Zugfoto ist. Versteht das nicht? Der eine Baum da hinten sah gerade so ähnlich aus wie auf dem We've been in this town for longer than we originally planned, haven't we? Oh no, I'm not complaining. I'm used to living out of a hotel, and I love southern food. There are some inconveniences, though. There's no movie theater in this town, nor is there a video rental store, and the TV in the hotel room doesn't get any of the on-demand movie channels. We'll just have to get lucky and encounter a movie being shown on TV. The movie environment in Lucari is no different from that of the 70s, Zach. No, they don't have a movie theater. So I suppose it's even farther back than that. But it's true that... Oh, my... Two lollipops, three lollipops. Don't mind me, Zach. This is how I wake myself up. Na, ich hätte gedacht, so da vielleicht richtig werden. Aber es sieht ganz anders hey, aus Zach, auf dem Foto. Don't nothing. Just felt like saying. Die Bäume sind so eher so Mangroven oder sowas ganz. Dicke Stämme unten. Das ist ein ganz anderes Gebiet hier. This is the deep south. I feel it every time that molten hot sun pours down on me. Don't you use that? Wasserturm, weil wir gerade da sind. Da müssen wir auch ein Foto machen. Das ist auch ein Missionsziel. Das will ich jetzt eigentlich noch nicht machen. Ein Hauptmissionsziel. Da muss ich aufpassen, so, dass ich you da think nicht of versehentlich. Yes, I'm talking about him. Unga is the skeletal gentleman friend or foe, or does he merely exist outside the realms of either? Still too early to tell, but it's clear that he'll be the key to uncovering this case's mysteries. That's what my soul tells me. By the way, Zach, 